So after Luis freaked out on him during a mental breakdown, Armand first saved Daniel from Luis. However, after that, Armand cruelly tormented Daniel and intended to kill him until Luis interfered. As a result, they both protected Daniel from the other. Verified by Armand of all people, Luis lied in his initial interview in an attempt to enrage and elicit Lestat's attention. Young Maniel was an obvious harlot. He'd already sniffed the coke and was ready to go all in, then promising Armand he would quickly get down on his knees. I am aware that everyone has been talking a lot about Devil's Minion, but this episode seemed to be more about Luis and Daniel's memories being restored and Armand's bad behavior than it was about Armand and Daniel. Luis was scorching in the sun. I was relieved that Luis saved Daniel in the end. It demonstrates the extreme swings he experiences between madness and being a good man. Luis seems like a truly sick person, and after all is revealed, I worry how he would handle his mental condition as a vampire. It also casts doubt on his relationship with Lestat. We can see why he maintained strict control over Luis. Lestat's dread of Luis taking his own life was well-founded, which is why he brought Claudia back, otherwise he would have been glad to be rid of her. Just the mention of Claudia sparked a fight, and he fled into the sun. It seems sense that he suppresses his memories, he is incapable of handling anything. His wounds were startling. Although it's good to see old Maniel and Luis becoming closer as they work to uncover their past, Luis is still untrustworthy due to his unstable mental state, his vampire tendencies, and his general dishonesty. There's still need for old Maniel to be on his watch. This episode's Armand's face card is outstanding, an actual fallen angel. The showrunners are going all out this season to give us male beauty since they understand the task of surpassing Brad's portrayal of Lewis in I Go You TV 94. The highs and lows of Lewis and Armand's marriage are confirmed by this episode. Lewis acting erratically and out of character simply to feel something. It was hilarious how Luis ordered Armand to release Daniel at the end, and Armand responded by calling him Maitre once more. They are really disorganized. Luis acknowledged that he thinks poorly of Armand and that he is bored with him, both of which occurred 50 years ago. He knows Armand doesn't measure up and he misses Lestat. It makes sense why Armand altered his thoughts. If not, they would have been completed long ago. Armand was referring to Lestat and Claudia incessantly. This supports the assertion made by some that Armand's animosity against Claudia stems from the fact that she is the corporeal embodiment of Lestat. He is a maker, a reflection of himself and Louis linked to Lestat and his former existence. He's ready to get that tie off of him. Lestat's message of love was heartbreaking, and Armand was torturing both Lestat and Louis by reaching out to Lestat but refusing to connect. Lestat would have gone to visit Louis then, and Louis would not have been attempting to coax him out of the interview if he wasn't still being held captive. It was disappointing that Louis would not talk to him. At this point, I can't even think it's rage. I firmly believe that his existence with Armand is so miserable and ridiculous that he feels guilty and ashamed of the condition he's in. A worsening mental disease, screwing and killing dozens of coked up youngsters. When Lestat replied that he was here on the planet to enjoy himself, he scolded Lestat for not desiring more from life and declared that Luis was seeking fulfillment and hedonism in the wrong places. It was awful to hear Luis scream in agony and beg to be placed in a coffin, even if he had done it to himself. Without a doubt, Armand left him to suffer for hours in revenge. This experience substantiates Armand's alleged age-related infrequency of feeding. However, he crafts intricate killings when he does. Who else G pulled off intricate killings and were humiliated for it? It's evident from every episode that Lewis could have easily made things work by staying with Lestat. In the end, vampires are just creatures of the night. There's never a good one. That or move out into the bush by yourself and become the vampire Gabrielle. Armand's claim that Claudia didn't love Lewis, together with the sneak peek of Lewis calling Claudia a burden. Well, wow, not appealing for the trial. Without a doubt, he will wish to relieve himself of that load. In my opinion, Claudia truly loves Lewis, but he feels betrayed by her for tricking him into assisting in Lestat's murder, and as a result, Madeline enters the scene. The psychological anguish that Armand endured wasn't as horrible as I had anticipated. It was much harder to observe Lewis' mental breakdown and misery. Daniel was criticized by Armand for what he perceives in him. That's Armand. He called him a black hole. Armand is a hollow shell of a person, and Luis is insanely bored because he was sold as a slave and forced to serve masters at an early age, 
he never fully realized or established his identity during his human life, which is why he surrounds himself with rituals and regiments. It was really depressing to assume that his second recollection was of being raped while a slave. It's clear why he's dysfunctional, but Armand is still my hottie. We'll have to watch how this develops. At this moment, Armand is aware that Louis and Daniel are following him, and that Louis eventually prevented Daniel from dying. They'll be curious to find out what other lies Armand has said. Furthermore, it's uncertain how much of Claudia's death Louis recalls. He actually nearly killed himself when faced with the truth about her, and he gets really angry whenever anyone gets close. Lestat served as a spur for Armand to leave his satanic coven. Then he disassociated himself from the theater coven, citing Louis as justification. My suspicion is that he wants to end this marriage and is letting this interview help him do it. Although he said that Louis would be executed if the book were published, Armand claims he shields Louis from himself. I can only conclude that he never intended for this interview to be made public. Louis stays and they make each other miserable because he is motivated by animosity against Armand for his role in Claudia's death. He continued to provoke Lestat as a form of punishment, and he did the same thing when Claudia left New Orleans. In the voiceover, he acknowledged that doing so satisfied him. How loving Lestat sounded towards Louis when Armand reached out to him is beyond me. He sounded so innocent and defenseless. I long for him. Louis also does. It will be lovely when they reunite.